Good morning to you, Steph. Good morning, everyone. We're going to stay with that weather story now. A soggy start to your fall. Heavy rainfall drenching southern Ontario overnight. And we're not out of the woods just yet. We do have that rainfall warning. It stays in effect, as Natasha has been mentioning. Okay, so localized flooding in parts of the GTA. No surprise here. Forcing many parts of the highways to shut down, including right there. That's uh, the QEW at Dixie. And there is still more rain, of course. Uh, this is the live look again. Uh, the Dawn River, you can see that flowing fairly heavily. So what did we do? We sent out City News reporter Faiza Amin, who will brave the elements for us all morning long. You know, let's just accept it's going to be a bad hair day. Yeah, Faiza? Yeah, my hair is all the <laughs> way up. Uh, and a personal request for people at home. Um, I'm a little bit miserable. I didn't see a lot of rain out today, so I thought I could get away with not rain, wearing any rain boots. Uh -oh. So I'm uh, rain protected up top, but down low, I'm currently standing in a puddle, and there's lots of puddles out here. And it's currently raining, so a personal request to you. Can we see? You, can we see your shoes? Sure. Uh, okay, you can see my shoes. Oh, oh. I, I, I feel like I want to send That's you a okay. pair of rubber boots. I'll be okay. You know what? I'm going to do this so you don't have have to at home. Learn from me. Learn from me. Okay, I want to tell you where we're at right now. We're at Lakeshore at the bottom of the Dawn uh, on the trail right by the river. And uh, the Toronto Air Conservation Authority issuing a warning. They're on flood watch currently. Uh, and they're telling folks to stay away from bodies of water. That remains in effect until about noon today. They are monitoring uh, where an update is expected uh, later today. Uh, and uh, let's talk a little bit about Toronto Hydro also. Some outages have been reported currently up to 500 uh, customers are impacted in the Upper Beaches area by Kingston and Maine. Now, crews are currently on site there, but that was not the only area impacted. Uh, Scarborough and Etobicoke power has been restored recently in both those areas, too. Um, the weather also causing some damage in parts of the city. Uh, a family evacuated their home last night following a structural collapse of a house under construction on York Ave near Weston Road and Eglinton. Toronto Fire called to the scene shortly before midnight with officials saying the weather was a contributing factor as work was being done in the basement of the home. Now, city engineers will be on site to check the stability of the structure. Uh, luckily, no injuries were reported and no other homes were said to be damaged in the process. Let's talk about your morning commute also. Steph had mentioned uh, some updates there for you on the roads, but Metrolinx also advising commuters to exercise caution on GO station platforms, uh, parking lots, and stairwells following the forecasted heavy rains. Um, adding that Richmond Hill, they're watching the Richmond Hill line closely to be monitored after flooding. So commuters are advised to plan ahead and check for regular updates. Uh, one final note for you, just outside the GTA, uh, Middlesex County declaring a state of emergency due to the heavy rain. So although it might not look like it's raining at times. Um, learn from me. Prepare in advance. Uh, we're talking full body rain gear today, and I don't think you'll be as miserable as I am right now, Mel. All right, Faiza, I mean, reporting live for us. Thank you so much for that. Try to stay dry. Uh, 608 is your time right sure. now. Some other stories we are following. A violent night in Peel Region. Police investigating two homicides that happened over the span of a few hours. Let's start first in Brampton, and that's where police are searching for three suspects after a man shot dead. Now, officers were called to a home on Rushbrook Drive in the Airport Road and Countryside Drive area just before 5 yesterday evening, locating a man and a woman with gunshot wounds. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. The woman taken to hospital, and she is expected to survive. Not long after that call, police directed to a second scene, which was about 7 kilometers away. In the area of Grenoble Boulevard and Williams Parkway, here in Brampton for a car fire. When police arrived on scene, they did not locate anyone in the vehicle or surrounding the vehicle. At this time, it is early on in the invest investigation. However, investigators do believe that this could possibly be related to the shooting. Now, police say they believe three suspects went into a home in a vehicle and then uh, went to the home, I should say, in a vehicle, then fled the area in that same vehicle following the shooting. But so far, no suspect descriptions have been made available. 
We're also following this in Mississauga, where a man is shot and killed just after 8 o'clock yesterday evening. This happened in the area of Dixie Road and Courtney Park. The victim in a parked car in an industrial plaza when a gunman shot at close range. Emergency crews tried life-saving measures here when they arrived, but the man was pronounced at the scene. Investigators say the level of violence in Peel in just a short period of time, that is concerning. It's outrageous, and I think the, uh, the public is outraged uh, when we have gun violence like this happening, and we've had two, two homicides in one night. We're going to be working around the clock to find out what happened and who's responsible. And police saying there was a vehicle seen fleeing the area, but they do not have any descriptions at this time. As always, they're looking for anyone who may have information in any of these cases. All right, it is uh, day two of Ontario's uh, proof of vaccination system. Right now, uh, it's not clear how long this is going to be the new normal, but we did hear from Premier Doug Ford for the first time in weeks. Have a listen. There's no secret. You know, I, I was reluctant. Uh, I was reluctant because I, I just don't believe in government dictating to people uh, how to live their lives, run their businesses, and saying that this is a special circumstance. This is a special circumstance that the whole world has faced and and uh, every, every premier in this province. So I want to, you know, move forward with this, but I don't want to do it a day longer than we have to. All right, and we're going to have more on the story here when it comes to how long this uh, proof of vaccination might be in place. But again, this is uh, just day two at the moment. So we'll bring you more on this story in moments. Right now, your time is 6-12. Coming up, are you still working from home? Apparently, a lot of people are. We're going to